What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you the basic terminal commands to get you up and running so you can navigate and perform basic tasks right in your command line. I'll put a list of these commands in the description so you can use them as a reference during or after the video. Let's get started. So I'm currently at my top root directory represented by the tilde here. You can run ls which stands for list and hit enter. This will list any files or directories inside your current directory. And for me, these are all directories. You can also add flags to commands. So if you do ls-a for all, this will show all directories and files, including any hidden folders. So the ones with a period before it, these are hidden files and folders that you would not see. You can run clear to clear your terminal and you can still scroll up and see previous commands. Also you can hit up to go to previous commands and then hit enter and run those again. So hit enter here, it'll list these again. You can run cd which stands for change directory which will change the directory. So you cd and then I'll go into the data directory and we'll see that we're now in the data directory. Hit ls and we see there's a single file in here, an SQL file called data2021. You can go back by typing cd and then two dots and that'll bring you back a level. So we're back at the root there. And you can of course change directory down multiple levels if you know the folder structure and you'll get more familiar with this the more you do it. You just add a slash after the directory and add another directory. It'll do a change directory into code. And then I have an app called Fitness Tracker, which has a source folder and then a pages folder inside of that. If I hit enter, we see I'm now in pages. Run an ls to see what's inside here, and we see some JavaScript files. There's a command for viewing what's in a file, and that's cat for concatenate. You cat, and then the name of the file, say workouts.js. And you see we're at the bottom of the file, so you have to kind of scroll up, and then all of a sudden you're kind of into your previous commands. So what I like to do is run the less command. So you do less and then workouts.js and we'll see we're right at the top of the file. So I'm importing React, uh, so workouts component, fetching workouts, sending in the user ID, yada yada yada. You can also page down by hitting spacebar and to get out of this you'll hit Q for quit I'll go ahead and clear this. Now we're pretty far down from our root directory. You can also go up multiple levels by doing change directory, the two dots, and then a slash, and then two dots. You can also go up multiple levels and then into another directory. So if I go slash up again, and then into portfolio, hit enter and we are now in the portfolio directory. So if you're feeling a bit lost about where in the world you are, you can pull up a GPS. If you're feeling lost in the terminal, you can print out your current path with PWD, which is print working directory. So we see we're in users, Andrew Gainer, that's what I'm logged in as, and then code portfolio. Another useful feature is instead of doing change directory and then going multiple levels back, you can do change directory and then the tilde for home, which for me is the Andrew Gainer here because that's what I'm logged in as. So you can change directory straight to that or change directory from that. So the tilde and then a slash and then code and that could bring you to code. So let's go back to the root here. You can create a file with the touch command. So you touch example.js. 
do an ls, and we see our example.js. And you can write inside a file using nano. So nano example.js. And now we can write whatever we want in the file. And to get out of this, you'll do control X for exit. Ask if you want to save, do Y for yes, and hit enter. And we can use cat to print this one because there's not much in there. Woo! You can use the MV command, which stands for move, to move a file. And I'll get to that in a second. But you can also rename a file with the same command. So if we type MV and then the name of the file and then the name we want to change it to, I'll just say e.js. Hit enter, ls, we see it's called e.js now. I'll go ahead and run cat on that again because, well, pizza party. There's also a command called make directory and you'll never guess what it does. Go ahead and uh, pause the video and I'll, just kidding, it makes a directory. So you'll type that and then the name of the directory, hit enter, and we see we have our pizza directory. So now I'll show you that move command and how we can move a file into another folder. So you MV and then the file name and the directory or the path to the directory that you want to move it to. Do ls, we see that e.js is not there anymore. We'll do a change directory into pizza, which you can type the directory as lowercase if you want. ls, and we see it's there. Now there's this remove directory command, which basically never works. The directory has to be empty for this command to work. So if I change directory and go back, if we try remove directory for pizza, it says directory is not empty. So you have to do this remove command, which is how you remove files. Give it the dash R flag for recurring, and then the name of the directory or file. and we see it's gone. Very sad. And to remove a file, you would just do remove and then the file name. And so last thing I wanna show you is sometimes you run a command and you'll get a permissions error. That's because you don't have permissions to run this command. And so what you can do is run sudo, like super user do is what it stands for. And then the command It'll ask you to enter in the password. So I'll put in the password for what I use to log into my computer. And as you're typing, it'll look like nothing's being typed, but rest assured there is. And you hit enter, and there you go. So the sudo l is a command that shows a list of the commands you're able to run with your current permissions. User Andrew Gaynor may run the following commands on Andrew's MacBook Pro, and it's all of the commands. Well, I'm craving pizza now, so if you like this video, please like and or subscribe. Drop a comment and say what's up, and thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Check it. Check it.